Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the physics department and specifically to the launch of the Yearbook Physics Tutor Platform, which we believe will be of great benefit to you as a physics student. Yearbook means to show agreement or approval. So in this case, a big yes to physics. As you all know, teaching at schools and universities has completely been transformed due to COVID-19. Physicists are problem solvers. The Yebu Physics Project is the first of its kind at the Nelson Mandela University and aims to provide first-year physics students with live online access to well-prepared tutors who understand the demands of conceptualizing physics ideas and who are willing and well-equipped to guide you through the process of problem solving. So as a physicist, you will study the fundamental physical laws of nature and apply them to inform your understanding of reality. Generally, this requires the development of strong problem-solving skills. Your success in physics will largely depend upon, firstly, your conceptual understanding of the laws that control how nature behaves. Secondly, your ability to correctly identify which laws to use when you study particular physical phenomena or systems. And then thirdly, your ability to contextualize what you read, but importantly, to formulate the mathematics that you will or that will allow you to solve problems. Yebu Physics, we believe, will help you to develop these skills. I need to thank Prof. Tim Given, whose idea it was to start this novel program, Dr. Lindsay Westraat for being the co-pioneer of Yebu Physics, and then Dr. Zola Argesa, Dr. Niasha Sulihali, Mr. Lucian Pullen, who is an honor student, and Mr. James Jenner, a PhD student who will serve you as the yearbook physics tutors. I also wish to extend my and the department's sincere appreciation to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor Teaching and Learning, Professor Cheryl Foxcroft, for her support of the project. To all who made yearbook physics possible, thank you. Please use this wonderful opportunity, engage with your tutors regularly, and importantly, enjoy your time in physics. On behalf of the physics department, I wish you the very best for your respective academic careers. Hi everyone, um, I'm Prof. Tim Gibbon and I'm lecturing the PHYV 101 course. Yes, yeah, so we've created uh, Yebo Physics as a place where you can uh, come together and you know you, you, you can join on YouTube and your, your colleagues will be here, your, your fellow students will be here, you can uh, chat to them, it can be a meeting place. Um, and in addition to, to, to having a community and your fellow students being, being here, we can also have um, you know, well-trained tutors and you can ask your questions uh, we can help you with t topics that you're struggling with. So it really is a place uh, for us to meet. It's a place for us to help you. Um, it's a place for us to, to, to make the most of, of, of the time we can spend together. The idea is that the, the program uh, be live several hours each day. And, um, you know, we be on YouTube, we be streaming, and then you're able to join any time when you, you have a question and you sort of uh, need help. So from that point of view, you don't need to feel stressed that, that you need to attend every session or you need to um, you know, fulfill some requirements. You can check, we, we're gonna aim to be streaming many afternoons from, from next week onwards every day uh, and you can make a use of that opportunity. Um, today's the, the launch and we're gonna be going for, from next week um, onwards and um, as you'll hear from um, a number of the, the tutors and the people involved in the program, we'll be giving you some extra information about how to access the, the, the program, how to ask your questions, how to um, you know, interact with the tutors. And certainly uh, we encourage your feedback and any ideas you have for us to, to improve the program uh, and make it better. If you aren't able to catch the, the live Yebo Physics um, sessions and ask your question then, we also encourage you to you know, upload your questions and we, we will still answer them. 
and then we will make a highlight uh, VODs video on demand. Uh, we'll, you know, upload the highlights of us answering the questions, working through your problems, and then you can watch those um, as you, at your convenience uh, as well. In today's uh, welcome session, in today's launch, we have a number of people who are going to be coming on, giving information, and telling you how to make use of, of Yebo Physics. So just be patient as we switch uh, between, between people. I'll be saying goodbye now, and then the next person will be joining. So, so don't log out. We'll be back in a minute or two with more uh, information. Okay, hello everyone. You can see that I'm wearing my mask, I'm being COVID safe. Um, I'm not going to keep you very long, just a reminder that I'm indeed your lecturer if you are studying FEV 101. Um, this tutorial course is for FEV 101 and PHYV 101, yes. Um, and this is your tutorial space, so if you feel like you're falling behind with the work or you need a little bit of extra help with the work, that is exactly what this forum is for. Um, for my students, as we instructed on, I think it was Tuesday, no, Wednesday, um, your tutorial assignment is to work through your physics workbook. So if you are having any problems with your physics workbook, please post questions relating to that on the relevant um, Moodle forum. And the tutors that are part of this program will monitor those forums and address those questions that you're having um, with the workbook. But the most important, so the whole reason for today is that the tutors will explain to you how the whole site works. Um, so I'm not going to keep you very long. I want them to, to spend the time explaining how everything works. So um, I hope you enjoy the site and you, you get great value from the site. Um, and that you also in, um, enjoy your tutors. They're a great group of guys. Um, so yes, have fun. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our Yebo Physics uh, live streaming uh, information session. And uh, I'm Zola, I will be introducing you how the schedules will be going throughout the week and I also introduce you our fellow tutors. As you can see on top of my, my image, there is we will be all live throughout the week, starting from 11 a.m. up to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Every day, somebody will be standing for you, waiting for you. And then, for example, for Monday, for example, as you see over there, James will be on standby. You could ask, as you have been told. You could ask the questions. You could interact with any any of the one who is online. And on Tuesday, myself, I will be standing there for you. Wednesday, Nyasha is there. On Thursday, again, myself and Lucian will interchange. Friday, Nyasha and Lucian will take you through. As you could see there, we will be live always on YouTube. You could watch us on YouTube. The YouTube channel is over given there. Also, you could call us on the Zoom. As you see, again, there is a Zoom channel over, over there. We will be mainly focusing on the first year physics undergraduate student, mostly a book by uh, Sorway and uh, James. It is a some physics, I think we will be putting it there soon. It's a, and uh, therefore, anyways, you could con interact with us. We'll be online waiting for you. The f then for the technicality, how do you call how do you interact with us this will be by zoom but this technical will be discussed with to you by our fellow tutors nasha will be on standby for that he will take you through each and every detail so thank you for listening hello guys how are you there? My name is Nyasha. I'm here to just uh, give you a brief on what you'll be doing when you come on to Yebo Physics. So, as Dr. Irgesa Zola has already told you, um, you will see a live stream of a tutorial. Uh, we might be doing some fun things there, but uh, the tutorial will cover a certain number of questions. 
Uh, for those that are studying here at Nelson Mandela University, so check your workbook for FVV 101 or check your tutorial uh, quiz questions for PHYV 101. So now, this is what we, we do. I start a tutorial. I've got, uh, for instance, what you're seeing written Nelson Mandela University Yebo Physics YouTube live stream tutorials there. So it will be, for instance, a question. So I'm running a question. We are seeing the question. We are discussing the question. Uh, if you have a um, contribution or you need to uh, ask somewhere on the point of the questions, you can actually call in. So we will be able to stream you live and uh, talk to you as our guest. So to demonstrate this, I will just uh, call in one of our students. Uh, he's a sen senior student who has been introduced already and one of our tutors. So I will go and see if I can talk to him and just to test our Yebo Physics Live um, question center. Right now, I believe you can already see him. Uh, that's Lucien. Uh, let me see if he can hear me. Hello, Lucien. Can you hear me from uh, Yebo Physics? Lucien, can you hear me from Yebo Physics? Okay. I don't think he can hear me, so we are uh, getting some technicalities there uh, that are giving us a bit of trouble. So let's see if he can hear me now. Lucien, can you hear me on Yebo Physics? Hello, Lucien, can you hear me on Yebo Physics? Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Yasha. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you very much for tuning in to Yebo Physics. Um, we are running some questions here. Right now, you, can, you may not see them, but we may uh, show you an example of a question such as uh, what we will see in one second. So I will have Mr. James fix a question for us. Can you see the question, Lucien? Uh, not yet, about. Okay, so it is coming up. So this question will be uh, reading as follows. A rectangle has a length of 1.323 meters and a width of 4.16 meters. Using significant figure rules, what is the area of this rectangle? A is an option, B another option, and so on and so forth. Solution, can you please exemplify a question for our students so that they can have an idea of how we will handle uh, their questions? Okay, for instance, let's say I have the question uh, regarding the significant figure rules. Yes. Okay. I know that when you multiply, I know that when you multiply two significant two uh, numerical quantities, the yes. numbers, mm -hmm. that the answer must have the least number of significant figures. But what happens when you're adding two numbers? Does the rule still apply, or is there a different rule for adding two significant figures, two numbers? Okay. Uh, cool question. So when you look at adding and subtracting numbers, the whole idea is you focus on the number of decimal places of the given data. So let's say in this case, let's assume we were going to subtract 4.16 from um, 1.323. The whole idea is the number that you are given, the data with the least number of decimal places, is what will dictate the number of decimal places for the answer that you get. So when you do your math, you get your answer, you write it in four, and then you will select the number of decimal places, in this case, two. Um, is that helpful, Lucien? Yes, it was very helpful because now I won't make the mistake of uh, using the rule for multiplication when adding two numbers. Great, great. Thank you, Nyasha. Thank you so much, Lucien. Uh, I will be uh, putting Lucien off right now. So this is an example, guys, of how we will handle the questions that you will be uh, handing out on Yebo Physics. So this is a chance for you to make sure that from Monday to Friday, there's all the time between 11 and 3 in the afternoon for you to choose your own schedule. You will find one of us there, and then we will help each other, and we'll also have some fun. Okay. 
So uh, I will be handing over to James right now. He's going to give us a short uh, thanks to all of you guys who came and you supported. Please like, please share this link. Tell your friends that it's time to join Yebo Physics. So from Yebo Physics, I'm out. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm James, as Anyasha has already introduced, and uh, I'm here to just say thank you for, to all of you for uh, joining into the program. And above all, thank you to the physics staff uh, for creating a space where dreams can stretch an individual. It has uh, come at a critical moment in times such as this. This has especially been uh, designed to address your specific needs with regards to the physics course. So it is a safe space to, uh, for you, so please do feel comfortable. Tune in during scheduled times, sus subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, would uh, actually, as uh, you have been told, like to hear what, uh, how we can improve our, uh, this program. So, but most importantly, remember, your full participation is key to enable you benefit uh, and also for the benefit of others. Our streams will be recorded, so it is important for you as responsible users and uh, citizens of the world to be cognizant of cyber rules. So don't forget Ubuntu, which is to say, you are because we are. The values and ethos around respect for self and for others too, this will take us smoothly through the journey. See you in the next coming Yebo Physics live stream sessions. Thank you for attending and all the best in your studies.